Good morning, everyone. I have come to the most beautiful venue today for a business course. But I don't really know what to expect because this whole world is new to me. I hope that I meet other people who are in a similar position that I can just connect with and maybe get a framework for my business, a new approach, a way of looking at things that's helpful. I'm just not really sure what's going to happen. So it was nice to get up and put my makeup on and do my hair because I don't do that very often. Um, I've also brought, I'll just show you down here, I've got my Strathbury tote with me. I wanted to bring my Birkin just because I've got a lot of stuff in there, but I don't know how much we're going to be moving around. I don't want to be worried about my bag today and I don't know how obnoxious that would be. We'll see. Everything in the bag is obnoxious. Ooh, Arika Bianchi are here. They're the company that we've bought literally all our furniture in our house from, apart from the stuff in my office. And this is our room for the day. But first, I need a cup of tea. Yeah. So I've just got home and this is my current shipping station. So we have my thermal printer with one of my first ever labels that I ever made up on top here. Then we have my tape dispenser, weighing scale, and here are the boxes that I made up last night ready for the orders today. And at the bottom you can see there's one much bigger box. I need more of these desperately. I'm waiting for the order to arrive because just about a third of our orders are too big for the smaller boxes at the moment. So I've been doing all kinds of different things to make that work, but those boxes should be here very soon. And yeah, let's get cracking. Good afternoon everyone. It is currently Monday afternoon. I spent this morning filming YouTube content, edited a little video for tonight and then I've got my main video to edit for later in the week and while I was filming Mark kept making really weird noises outside the door and when I went outside this big box was there. This is our new packaging for Vantage. I needed to get some bigger boxes because some of our orders have been so huge I've been packing them inside three or four different boxes ago so I've ordered some big boxes. I hope they look right. We've gone through about three or four samples to get the foiling just right so let's see how they look. Please be nice, please be nice, please be nice. This came so fast. Normally we wait forever for our packaging, so. So pretty so these are the boxes that I'm currently unboxing and they are our new style packaging they're quite a bit bigger than the packaging that we currently have and that was the main issue so about a quarter to a third of all the orders that I'm currently dispatching don't fit inside of our boxes that's because people are ordering much more than I expected which is wonderful and it's a problem that I'm very happy to have but now we have bigger boxes to accommodate that if you've ordered in the last few weeks as we've been going through different samples of this you might have already had one of the early samples of these boxes that have had some quite interesting different variations on the foiling so if you've had one of those through it was a sample preparing for these and yeah i just used those because they were prettier than getting plain boxes from the post office but sometimes i've had to do multiple of our boxes inside a box from the post office so yeah it's really nice to just have the bigger packaging now that will make such a difference and yeah, I've got loads and loads of that in here. So I've just got a few boxes there. I'm going to put those over in the shipping station and then I'm going to tidy up and go and post out the orders for today. But these are ready for tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I'm here at the beautiful Mottram Hall for my favourite day of the week. So I'm going to grab my Birkin out the boot and run inside. Also, my machine is arriving today. Finally, this taken forever it's been a few months but it's finally arriving at our house so mark's going to receive it but it weighs 100 kilos so i need to go back and help him out so it's all going on today i will catch up and sit down with you in a bit Stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing 
nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at this beautiful star. Machine finally arrived this week, but I'm so frustrated because it's still in our hallway downstairs. The machine itself is about 75 to 80 kilos, and then it's on a pallet, and so altogether it's just over 100 kilos. And between Mark and myself, we can't get it off our stairs at all. So later on today, Mark's best friend Paul is coming over. They're going to try and bring it upstairs. I really hope they're both alive and well when I upload this because I'm not convinced they'll be able to do it. We'll see what happens. But they're going to try and get it up here for me, and then I can actually start using it. But the other thing I've realized is I was going to put the machine on my IKEA desk, which is just a Malm IKEA desk, but they only hold up to 55 kilos in weight. So I performed an experiment using myself. <laughs> I'm not that dissimilar in weight to the machine itself. So I sat on my desk and my desk didn't like it, but I have done it a few times before. I mean, it didn't snap, which was great for my ego, but <laughs> I don't think putting that machine on my desk is a good idea. So later on today, Mark, myself and Henry are going to go to a vintage store and see if we can find a nice old oak desk. So a few weeks ago, if you follow me on Instagram, we went around this vintage store. I saw some really cute desks, but they're all probably a bit small for what we're looking for today. But I'm going to see if I can find a nice captain style desk. Growing up, my dad used to have the most beautiful, it was a huge huge oak desk and granted we can't afford anything like that right now I feel guilty even looking for furniture when we don't need it but we do kind of need it and I need something safe to put this machine on because it will get very very hot so I want it to be very secure and practical and so I'm going to look for something affordable but hopefully pretty would be nice we'll see so yeah come with us around the vintage store because I love it it's just a great place to kind of wander around and fingers crossed by the end of the weekend we might be in a position where I'm good to use the machine they did it! Here it is in my office. Now let's go get the desk. Not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. We looked round for ages and we did come across quite a few desks but all of them were too shallow and we needed the depth for the machine. So unfortunately we gave up and as we were walking out of the store I just saw the corner on my right hand side of what looked like a desk and so then I pulled some stuff back, there were some mirrors and photos and all sorts in front of it and it just revealed the perfect desk that you see here. This is where I'd already paid for it so I had my receipt and I'd taken the key, those were the mirrors I moved, out of the front drawer so that they didn't lose it in transit but this is just perfect. And this is where the desk is going to go. So this was previously where I had my book presses. I've moved all of those to the other side of the room. But as you can see, this Malm set of drawers is so broken. I've had way too much stock in it, so it's just broken them all. And then that's gonna come out and the shelves next to it are gonna come out as well. So this area is where the desk is going to go when it is delivered later this week. So just need to wait a few days for delivery and then it will finally all come together. <laughs>
today's video has not come together in the way that I hoped it would. I've just been sat here trying to edit it and over the last two months I've been filming loads and it just doesn't join together very well and I haven't talked about the big stuff like the course. The course has been excellent and I've never sat down and just said that on camera. So the course hasn't actually been very business minded. It's been very psychology focused and that has been phenomenal for me and actually the business side I've realized I'm pretty good at that I'm doing okay the psychology side has been much more useful and if you watch my video I put up last week about the challenges of leaving medicine a lot of those thoughts crystallized on this course I've had quite a lot of self-realization <laughs> I realized I was trying to be a doctor doing a business and I just need to shed some of those kind of self views and views on life and the way I do things from my previous job and now focus on what I'm doing now and that's been very liberating and it's actually made everything so much easier very simple stuff so brilliant course it's predominantly women on the course as well that was something I didn't expect there's about 17 of us in total of which there are two or three men three men yeah in the course so I didn't expect that but it's been really nice and I've made some really good friends out of the course as well so yeah it's been a really light-hearted day every week it's my last week of it this week and I'm really sad it's ending because it has been a day when I could decompress the machine <laughs> Oh my goodness the whole point of today's video is I wanted to get to the point where I was showing you something beautiful coming off that machine we're not there we have the machine up and running I've been test printing with it for the last week now I am sending off my design plates so they're coming through very shortly so next week I will show you what can come off that machine and even if it's rubbish I'll show it to you because I feel like I built up to that today and we just didn't get there so I do apologize I'm not showing you the machine today but it's taken a really long time <laughs> to get to the point where I can use it and so yeah, it's been a bit of a stop starty video. I'm going to change style for next week because I'm, I'm not particularly keen on the way that this video has come together. But it's been a really transformative two months. It's been very interesting. I definitely feel like Vantage has taken a few big steps forward. And hopefully next week I'll have a few new products for you as well that are coming out. So I'll show you those in the video. As always with my channel, I'm not trying to sell you stuff. If you want to buy, that's great. But I really just want to show the process, the journey and building a business because that's something that I'm really interested in. I'm so sorry it's been a bit disjointed and we didn't really get to the main points but that will all be coming shortly and things just take time and patience is definitely something I'm learning with this. <laughs> Bye.